Hello, this is Britt Caswell with another example video. In today's video, I'm covering example four from lesson 6-6 in the Solvus Realized Algebra 2 textbook. The goal of today's video is to use an exponential model. And I actually think that this is low key, like the coolest model ever. So it has to deal with how forest fires grow. Okay, so you could see on this that there's a, um, a fire and it kind of radiates outwards. Um, Savas actually has a really cool GIF of this, but I couldn't get the GIF to copy onto my slideshow. So just imagine these little arrowy things turning into, uh, into fire. It's kind of cool. Or go into your textbook and look at it for yourself. And so what's happening is they're not giving us an equation, which I'm like, ooh, spicy. And so what we need to do is we need to go ahead and create our own equation. So recall that the, the kind of general form for a um, exponential equation looks like this, right? And so all that we need to do is identify our A and our B. So our A is our initial amount so when the time, which I'm calling x, so I'm going to erase that and call it a t. So when our time is 0, our initial value is 4. So that's actually my a value. Now I just need to solve for b. Now to find b, what I need to do is find that common ratio. So how much this jumps from one, from one value to the next. So all that I'm going to do is I'm going to use my calculator and I'm going to divide each y value by the term before it. Oops. So I'm just opening up my calculator. So to start out with, I'm going to do 7.2 divided by 4 and I get 1.8. And I'm going to keep checking that. So I'm going to do 12.96 divided by 7.2. And when I divide those, I also got 1.8. We're just going to check it one more time. So 23.3 divided by 12.96. And I very roughly got 1.8-ish if I rounded. Okay. So this model is approximating the, the expression right here. Okay. So now what we need to do is we need to figure out how many minutes so we're finding a value of T does it take for the fire department to contain without additional resources. So they can contain a 160 acre fire. Okay, so that's the size of Y here. All right. So where Y is, I'm plugging in 160. And then the rest of it, we're going to go ahead and try to solve for. So the first thing I do is I get my exponential alone. All right, so I'm dividing each side of the equation by 4. So I get that 40 is equal to 1.8 to the teeth power, I guess. I don't actually know how to say that, but teeth makes me want to clack my teeth together. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the log from each side. Now 1.8 and 40 don't have anything in common. So when I take the log, I'm just taking the common log. So I have that the log of 40 is equal to, and I'm going to use the power property to pull the t out front, t times the log of 1.8. And then to get t alone, I just divide by that log of 1.8. So if I'm looking for kind of an exact expression, I would say my exact expression is the log of 40 over the log of 1.8. Now you could plug that into a calculator to get an approximation, right? Because this is a word problem, we usually want, you know, some kind of answer that's an actual number. So, you know, if you, if you gave somebody the answer to this, they'd probably punch you in the teeth because <laughs> teeth power. I'm sorry. Okay, so if you plug that in the calculator, you get 2.76 is about your t value. So now this is wondering, what about 
how long does it take for it to cover a, a 100 acre fire? So judging from the amount of space I needed on the last one, I'm just going to shrink a dink that. And let's try it now using that same equation, but with a 100 instead of a 160. So I have 100 is equal to 4 times 1.8 to the t. And again, I'm going to divide by 4 so that my exponential is alone. So I get 25 is equal to 1.8 to the t. We take our common log of each side because that's what takes the variable out of the exponent. So I have the log of 25 is equal to t times the log of 1.8, because I'm using that power property as well, right? And then divide out that log of 1.8 And so if I want that exact expression for t, I get the log of 25 divided by the log of 1.8 is equal to t. So that would be kind of my exact solution. If I wanted to plug it into a calculator, I'd get that t is about 5.5 minutes. So there we have it, guys. That is using an exponential model. Until next time.